Hi there. I invite you to join me for a short self-care wellness routine. If you can go ahead and find yourself a nice um, spacious area on the floor and have a ball of choice handy, tennis ball, lacrosse ball, any type of ball that we can use for some myofascial release. But we're gonna start first with releasing some of the um, neck, uh, head, neck, and upper shoulder muscles before we get to the posture of the chest. So if you can just go ahead and take your hands and just take them to the base of your skull and just take your fingertips and roll through the muscles at the base of your skull that, that attach to the very top of your neck. And then making your fingertips make their way down your, your neck, but not on the actual spine itself, but just the muscles that surround either side of your neck. Just rolling through that a little bit. And then gently making our way to where the bottom of the neck actually reaches the top of the shoulders here, where we really carry a lot of that tension. And I want, if we could just take the fingers and just roll through. So you wanna take your fingertips back as far as you can, and then just roll the muscle forward, like basically pulling that muscle forward and just breathing through it. So take a nice good in breath here as we grab that muscle a little bit and then roll through it and exhale. Inhale, roll the muscle, exhale. Perfect. And then just take your right shoulder to right ear and then drop. Left shoulder to left ear and drop. So again, we're just releasing any tension that's in those shoulders. And then roll the shoulders. Take that head side to side. All right. So we'll go ahead and take our ball now. We're gonna do some myofascial release of the um, chest muscles that pull our shoulders forward. So it's primarily gonna be the muscles that go right to the attachment at the shoulder. So let's take the ball in the right hand and we're gonna do the left side first. So you're gonna keep your left arm completely relaxed. You're gonna take the ball and place it on your chest. In the palm of your hand, you're gonna just start rolling that ball. And you just wanna be mindful of the pressure. So obviously if you're on a bony part of your body, um, don't put a lot of pressure there. But when you start to feel that you're in more of like the fascia, the muscles, the attachments that into the chest that going to the shoulder, as you feel that you're in that, kind of put some pressure in there. It will be a little bit uncomfortable because the muscles are often really tight. So that discomfort is actually the, the tight muscles and we're releasing them. So we're gonna go ahead and raise that left arm up just a little bit and now take that ball and roll sort of into the armpit. So you're kind of in the armpit and then into where you feel the shoulder. And again, this is right here where you'll feel a lot of discomfort. Just kind of roll back and forth. Shouldn't be painful, it'll just be a little uncomfortable. So just roll through there a little bit. And then slowly taking that left arm down. Let's go ahead and take the ball in the left hand. Right arm is fully relaxed. Now let's go to the right side. So same thing, just start rolling through the chest kind of up where it attaches to the shoulder, just around, just above kind of the, the breast tissue. Kind of where it attaches at the shoulder. And then go ahead and raise that right arm up a little bit. Now we're gonna go into that armpit of the right side. So just feel how you're at that connection there. This is that, it gets so short, pulls that shoulders forward. We wanna release that. So we wanna feel that little bit of discomfort because that is what is breaking through the fascia, the tight muscles. Just fully release it, roll. Perfect. All right, ball to the side. My dog is thrilled to have it. There you go, now you have two of them. Are you happy? Okay, we are gonna go ahead and lie down on our back and we're gonna do some stretching through those chest muscles. So go ahead and put yourself on your back. You're gonna keep our legs bent, feet, excuse me, feet flat on the floor, knees to the ceiling. Go ahead and take your palms to the ceiling and they're down by your hips. And you wanna have enough room where you're gonna be able to take your arms completely out to the side. So you may need to adjust, make sure you're not gonna hit any pieces of furniture. I actually think I'm gonna to have to adjust a little bit here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our arms slowly out to the side until we start to feel a stretch to the chest. So keeping your hands, your, your front of your hands are touching the floor, the palm of your hands are towards the ceiling, you're gonna slowly start to raise your, excuse me, take your arms out to your sides, really relaxing through your shoulders, especially your neck area. Just take those arms out to the side. 
And then when you get to a point where you feel a stretch in your chest muscles and where your chest muscles attach to the shoulders, just sit there in that stretch. Just allow your body to feel the stretch in the shoulders. I mean, excuse me, in the chest. And then if you can slowly make yourself go a little bit further up again. So just little by little as you feel the stretch, and if you feel like you've gotten to a point where it's stretching, then just be in that stretch. Allow your body to feel the stretch through the shoulders. Really relaxing through the neck, relaxing through the rest of your body. As your body starts to stretch, you might feel other parts of your body starting to tense up because of that stretch. So being very mindful that the rest of your body is relaxed while you're in a full open chest stretch. And then again, if it feels safe for you to go, go up overhead, feel that stretch. All the way up overhead. If you can, if you're staying down at the sides, that's okay as well. Just feeling that deep stretch through the chest and then slowly breaking those arms down and then slowly making our way up to a seated position. We're going to take our arms back behind us and again, just feel the stretch. So you want to just really feel the stretch. If you can bend those arms, and just pull back. So it's almost like you're trying to squeeze your chest, your uh, shoulder blades together, really opening up through the chest. And then now take those arms forward, rounding the back and stretching through the upper back, taking your chin to chest, opening up through the shoulders, the upper back. And again, open. Really feel the stretch. And then round, taking those arms forward, round the back. And then release. That's it. So you did a nice, good chest opening. Um, I do recommend, ideally, that you do at least the rolling fascia release and a, and a uh, short stretch after daily. This is something that really helps to improve posture. Um, if not, at least several times a week. And then if you can, um, also getting, you can always do a doorway stretch to add a little bit of a deeper stretch through the chest muscles or find something long to lay on to where you can actually open up more through your body, have something behind you so that your arms can actually open up even deeper and allow for a deeper stretch. A foam roller, a, a body length type of pillow, something that will support your back completely and then you just open up for a stretch. So. I hope that you can incorporate this on a regular basis. I promise you if you do, and if you're just mindful throughout your day, lifting your ribs and setting your shoulder blades down on your back, that your posture will improve and posture is so important for overall wellness. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining in, bye.